Well, welcome to uh, Dad's hunt. Up here helping Dad out on his uh, general rifle deer hunt. It's gonna be a challenge. I've never hunted this area before. Kind of got turned on to it from being a shed addict and trying to find sheds. The deer are out here, but I think they're pretty few and far between. Dad's gonna be pretty picky on this hunt. Being older, he just doesn't have the desire to shoot something. So we're gonna try to find an upper end buck for him in the next five days. And if not, no big deal. It's kind of like the watching the final season of an athlete. It's like, and you don't expect much of the season, but you just want to see it all come together after, you know, all they've done for the sport or all they've done for you or whatever. As you grew up as a kid, you want to see him like hit that home run or get that base hit in the clutch innings, you know, as those veterans tend to not do as good in their older years or not do not play as much. Well, dad, he doesn't, he doesn't hunt as much anymore. He's more lives through me so he's always kind of like taking a back seat growing up and let me hunt and did what he could to help me so it's cool that I don't have a tag and we can try to learn some new country and uh try to get him a big buck so we'll start glassing now nothing yet Took a midday stroll, checking out some terrain where I think it could be good tomorrow. And uh, yeah, look at that, here's a rub from today. I mean this year, not today. But uh, anyways, started seeing some deer sign. My suspicions that there were deer in that little pocket were true. They weren't shooters, but decent. I'm going back to dad. And uh, I'm gonna grab dad and see if we can get into another pocket similar to this and sit for the evening. I think that's where the bucks are gonna be. This deer is already two and a half miles away from us and we just jumped him 15 minutes ago. That's insane. I've never seen anything like that before. Still not quite shooter status. Decent buck, but I can't believe how far he just ran. I just watched that buck. Scaling cliffs, going through slick rock. He just ran two and a half miles as the crow flies in about 10 minutes. And then I lost him.
Well, Dad and I just split up for the last day of the hunt last morning. And uh, I got on some deer tracks that we saw the night before. And they never came out. So I just got on their tracks again. It looks like one buck splitting off. So I'm going to get Dad and we're going to follow him out. And uh, see if we can jump him and see what, what he is and get a shot if he's big. Well, let's go down and see if this track leads up where I saw that deer come out of. Yeah. Not big enough. All that hiking for possibly a two-pointer. Never made that hike. We weren't tracking the deer. And uh, so I'm glad it was. Yeah? Take us through some of the neat stuff. It's like me and my brother knew a guy. Rex Peterson, he used, to, he used to say, follow a mountain lion track and you'll see some of the most beautiful parts of America. And that's similar to what we just did. Yep. Yeah, he took us through some crazy country. There's his bed right there. Maybe it's not his first bed, but... Laying here. That might have been a staging bed or a early bed from earlier. Here's his second bed. That's where he was laying when we jumped him. Right there. Huh. Yeah, just a small buck. Not much, we've only seen four bucks out here and they're all smaller. There's where he took off. I think we did about three miles looking at Scout to Hunt. Um, he took us through some crazy terrain and probably did that all in one night. We saw where he raked a couple trees and uh, fed on a couple pieces of brush, but he pretty much walked the whole time until he lay, laid down right here. As we pack up and head down the road, I can't help but reflect on the past week and how much it meant to me. I've been on many hunts and killed multiple animals on my own. And though we didn't kill anything on this hunt, I know for a fact these memories are gonna stay with me longer than any other hunt that I've done on my own. This hunt struck something deep in my core that reminds me of my first years of hunting and the way dad introduced me into the mountains. Exploring nearly untouched country and hunting the same grounds that natives hunted two to 10,000 years ago is something not many people get to do in their lifetime. Doing this with my dog and dad is something I'll cherish for the rest of my life and I hope to do it again soon. I know this time spent means a lot to my dad, but I don't think he understands how much it means to me. We love the meat and we utilize the animal, 
but my dad always taught me it's not about the kill and you don't have to kill something just to fill a tag. This hunt couldn't prove that to be any more true.